Five. Bigger on the T side start of things. They're putting smokes out towards the B side with the Motovs in support. Process trying to prod forward. Rarlin popped out one shot through that smoke to give away the information to the T side line. And the advantage taken by Big will secure the plant. And this is going to be a retaking scenario in for ITB. And without any util and without any kit, this could actually be quite difficult. A lot of members coming through from this cave position. They're going to have to engage in quite quickly. And Krimbo's actually got a molly for the bomb. Post round standing. Waiting for the right moment. Waiting for the CTs to reveal themselves. Fuses will be difficult. There are no kits in play for the CT side at the moment. Glock's taking face. That molly comes out from Krimbo against the first contact. And that probably has secured the round here for the T's. ITB backing away to save the Kevlar. They're using a second Molotov just for safety, just for the pistol to go the way of Big. Yeah, nicely done there from Big, because even if there was a little bit of a tap and there's some time being utilized, that second Molly was certainly going to deny that uh, defeated A anchor roll. Uh, because when we look at the Anubis that's been played so far for ITB in this tournament, he's been a monster on A. We've seen some really sick multi frags from him, we've seen some really good time stalling from him. And Big, they'll know that he's going to be a threat and a danger to deal with. Body well, swinging into Tabson. Takes a lot of HP away from the man, but Tabson wins out that fight. Advantage Big again allowed full access to mid. So passive in terms of the return. That's a walkout camera. You can see that uh, Masuta's is trying to adjust towards that position again with a swing. Again, Tabson wins that fight. Such low HP. Crucial. He can get a trade onto two individuals. Three on three. As ITB can try to set up the retake. They're scattered here though. And Crucial trying to get a man advantage. You'll be able to get it. A triple found. Forced to back away from the T side. Process extending. Catches his man back to the two versus two. And bursts back to camera. Finally, Rarlan creeps in. Mantu all alone. Cornered by these two. Rarlan can shut him down and ITB can win the retake. But that was a sick round from Crucial. You think about the idea that Tabson's got the first kill onto body out towards the doors. He's been able to get into camera with a flash out from Bonnie certainly is prodding out to that position. However, he's still back over at the camera doorway. One of two players on defense. Time Tabson's walk up well and got the opening frag. And now they can actually afford to play really deep in camera. A mid does not need to be held from this position onwards. There's a slight rotation from Crucial to potentially play a passive CT line in from Temple. Another A split looks to be likely here from Big. Slowing things down to a snail's pace, though. Sat in mid, sat at water. Rowland's not sitting at all. He's walking his way up towards the main position over at B. Molly sent in by process going to indicate that they could rotate back through the, uh, uh, the, gen uh, the, the electric position. Is certainly possible. Oh, it's not now. I mean, there's no way they're going to come into electric alone with outside of B. This is a really good info play, and that's why you can see ITB with three on A. 15 seconds, they're going to have to make a move. Krimbo catches Masuta off, now forcing the issue, but eight seconds to plant the bomb. AUG stands to attention, Crucial and Body can get those two. They somehow make it to the bomb site in time, do they actually? No, they don't. A Might see another one of these info prods towards main itself. That's Rowland. We saw him do it in the last round, and it seems like he's doing it again. Just looking out there, isn't going to go for the information play like he did in the previous well, round. I mean, he did to an extent. It's actually misinformation. He actually jiggled wider than it looked, and he spots nothing outside of main. They're not going to go for any major rotations here. They'll still have the one player at Temple that could rotate in to defend the B-bomb site. With the utility coming in especially, blind fire. Beam is going to get checked. He still gets a kill alongside Bodies. Kill through the smoke. Mantu and Sin taken back for Beamus' trade, but it taps him straight through the smoke. We'll take Rowland back to a three-on-three -three retake. Everyone's coming through from the CT line. Nothing on a backstab towards Electric or from main. Eight Gs to open up the smoke at the main cross. Doesn't see anything. Backed up carefully from the T side. Crimbo as well. The AWP, the insurance policy in this exchange. Bomb is open for him, and there's no more utility on the CT side. Body still swings, gets a kill. Crimbo with a responsive. They know where both players are at. Crucial can get Tabson, and now they've got to deal with that AWP. We get to back to a one versus one. Crucial can get that frag, and just about picks up the kit to get the defuse in time. A very good effort there from Crimbo. We know that he's actually a D. Suta going to get challenged. Smokes ahead, flashes ahead of them, catching Masuta completely blinded. Tech Nines and PWE is going to eventually overwhelm, but Sin's so low. Body's overwhelmed by the numbers game the same, and actually, big have gained a man of advantage this this might be an insta save i i don't i don't think there's any way 
the, the idea that they're all coming through from camera, I actually would like to see a save here from my TB. If they get a kill when the smoke breaks, then maybe, but no, they don't. Crucial backs up. Yeah, good decision. And yeah, it, it makes sense. Well, the A players have a difficult time. Masuta giving him a lot of praise, and I've been very happy with his performances out on the A site of Anubis. Got absolutely rolled over. 0 and 6 right now. And just getting caught completely blinded with the util body out in the open, also receiving those flashes in from main. What an easy round that was. We're looking to commit back through the uh, water position. It seems like an A splits on the cards. Oh, this is just timing. Does Mantu aggress the line? Body tries to go in first. Gets jiggled out in the process. Missed shot there from Mantu. A lot of players, a d distraction and attention is brought towards mid. So there's actually only one directly on A watching main. It's all on the suitor. Surely just got to hide at this stage. Crucial has caught Mantu, so it's all about this main attack. The incendiary actually blocks them away. They cancel for now. They consider options of rotations. 20 seconds to make it happen, though. Yeah, this actually might just be a save call coming through from Big. You've got to remember, they have no idea what's happening out there towards Electric. They have no presence outside of B. They wanted to commit towards A, but losing the mid pick and being incendiary out towards A main just cancels it. Well, now... ITB forced into submission on a save. Big favorite return is to show exactly how competitive this game could really be. Bigger let the scoreline go to evens at four apiece. CT side taking some damage. That incendiary against Crimbo forcing him back out. The HE, I think they know. They're very, they, they definitely know. Swing from Masuta catches his man. Into the breach being a little bit forward fronting again out here towards A and it works out for a pick. And you've got even Crucial with that AWP pinned in towards Electric, and he's seeing nothing. There is no info, there's no jiggle, there's not even any util being used towards Electric and Canals. Big just prodding out dry. They do bait in the AWP to take a shot. The other AWP, though, still holding out from main. Mantu is going to get caught for it. Crucial still watching. That bomb's over at Water as well for Big, and it's no way to pick it up. And Tabson wants to deal with Rowland out here towards mid, and Sin actually does it for him. So that opens up the opportunity for the A split. They're just going to get Prost as closer towards that bomb to try and encourage it to come into main. Siphoned off the CT forces. You see that AWP continuing the rotation. Bemus in a temple. Ooh, does get yeah. engaged upon Tabson. Straight to the head. Now Crucial is left all alone here at B. He doesn't know. Am I being wrapped in from CT? Are they coming in from Temple? Are they coming in from Main? There is such a lack of information right now outside of just Habson. He's made the right call, though, to get back towards Spawn, check out for that wrap, and try and go for the retake on the bomb site. I'd imagine he will look back in as he hears those footsteps, but unless they overextend out wide, he's not going to deny that bomb plant. Comes in safer. Open at the electric side. Tabson, ready for Masuta, cuts him down. He is just on point in this map up. And yeah, that's a huge kill. And that actually might call in the save here. Yeah. 21 HP for Tabson in that round for Electric. And you just know in that position and tucked in the corner, you have to hit immediately. Because if you miss that first bullet, you're just going to fall. You're just going to get traded there from Masuda. You see a hunt against the AWP players. Crucial does catch off Sin there towards spawn. And double orbs in that retake, that's just very unviable. And you're right about Tabson's impact, yeah? Like, you mentioned that the top frags came in with the uh, anti-eco ace. We know that can perform. Crucial. On the AWP, trying to see if he can find that impact. Here's top of the board for Into the Breach. Seeing Nade fly his direction, we'll try counter that with Nades of his own. Won't be able to see anybody there. They've vacated and we'll look back in towards that water tank into the mid control again. They've been relatively uh, decent to finding it. Martov sent up. Sun catches body off guard. Caught jumping off on top of an elevated position. And the M4 forced back away from Temple. And try and put some more utility down to that Temple side to once again allow that A split. The question is, do they actually commit A split? Because last round it looked like they were going to do it. And then they ended up bringing the bomb back into electric. They're going into the A site with the bomb in mid. Flashes in from Crimbo. They try to see if they can force out the fight on Masuta. 
Only one kill for him so far on this map, but the backup is here. He gets his second, and now Rahalan can start closing in on Process. He finds his man. Advantage now for ITB as Masuta gets three. He's backed up by Rahalan, though. Smoke's being sent in. A third player's going to join the fray. That's the call. Orb of Crucial. Going to get boosted up. He's going to boost the M4 up instead here. Process caught tagged. Rahalan. Looking ahead, get, get ahead of the game here. Does actually get caught off with that one uh, uh, spray through the smoke. Mantu does find the Orpa as well. Bemis being low HP. Bomb could be denied. Sin does find the Masuta there with a trade. A double up of frags. A triple overall. And into the breach will secure the retake. And 7-5 on CT side. I think Into the Breach can be very happy about that because we went back and forth a, a little bit and the idea that Big got off to a, a fairly... Mid full frontal. you know, back away, re-aggress. They realise that A's been left alone. Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of movement in that round for Into the Breach, but I actually think they make a good call to get that bomb down just because they saw three CTs in mid. Cash money at least. Crucial sees Sin missing his own shots. Another goose down for the CT forces. They still get those two kills on body. Can finally trade one, but Sin back involved. Now the sights open against the T side line. Swing from Raal and Process can engage him. Keep Beamish distracted as they get right onto that defuse. So no pistol victory for ITB. They will have that cash bonus big into the CT. In the area, sees body just stops him. This allows any more progress there in electric. Sin. Seeing one other individual prodding out from the doorway. Another incendiary from the CT side to keep them at bay from that mid control. Roland, however, still looking to try and fight for this map or this part of the map. Finally, Tabson will go down. M4 standing against them all. Finds that first frag. Can't get the second. Oh, now it comes down to Krimbo, who's only got an MP9 to try and defend against the A split. Two angles of attack. Hearing the footsteps to the left and keeping himself covered off from them. Range game against Body. Revealed himself. Didn't get anything for it. Bomb can get to sight. Process is going to try to give chase. Cruz is going to go for the safer plant. He did see that smoke coming in. Body catches the backup. They're going for the fights. They're going for the kill. And that's exactly what they're going to get. That's a very good force. AWP of Crucial, finding Process, and that's the man I'm looking for. Not like he's been needed so far. The Orpa Mantu can't mount up, meanwhile in mid, missed his shot on Rollin. Yeah, and that looks to be a bit of a sitter. Now, Crucial dropped down from mid to get in towards Canals quickly. We saw a lot of that up against Zero Zero Nation. And just smoking off mid, dropping down immediately, and getting that Orp into a very quick fight. Rimbo. In the smoke as it will fade. Rahlan swings in and Crimbo will fight back and get a trade. Finally, a little bit of even standing, but it's come at the cost of the ace site control, which into the breach of red. Smokes and flashes coming in to siphon off any entries from the CT side line. The plant will be secured. And there is no kit for this retake. Yeah, they've got to at least prod in. And um, I, if they can get a pick in quickly, they'll go for it. Orp v Orp Jewel, not presented just yet. Crucial up against two. Misses that first. The trade should come back from Sin, and it does. All important. You knew when to act right there. I'm going to pay attention towards that main entrance because there's still players inbound. In fact, most of the individuals of the CT forces will be from that bat line. Flash in, keeping players blinded, but not Masuta. Mansu able to respond. Bemis, known body, caught off. A 1v3 for the Gilil. He's overwhelmed from all angles. And Big can find the first rifle rounds. You could see. Meanwhile, over on A, Mantu is set as first contact. Here's the footsteps and lands on Masuta. Utility being thrown into that bomb site, but it might all be a ruse with that kill going the way of the CT side. Indeed, they're going to start the slow rotate back into the B site. Body trying to look for a pick. Seen there by the peaking of the AK of Process. Damage being done. Sin waiting in at main. Will ITB expect this off angle? Will they expect the CT side to be holding from here with Process pulling distracted in the backside? Perhaps not. Indeed, Sin can swing forward. Body can get caught. Beamers can trade, but the bomb has been lost to them. This is an eighth for big. And it just showed that in that entire round, ITB try and go in for an A fake after losing Masuta and kind of dive back into B. Because there's already three players from big on A, None of those B players are going to move, because why would you? You've all Towards A main. A three on B, and there's just so much counter util. Like, it just feels like they're always cancelling, because the problem is they're not baiting out enough util from the site defenders, so when they do go for the exec, it's just too late. There's too much util still up. Flashes again. HEs from Sin. Body. 
keep himself behind it. 20 seconds time is short. Molotovs are sent. They've only got one piece of everything to try and go for this execution. They're going to have to force it out with the brutal jewels, and they're not quite going their way. Masuda with a double. Finally, Tabson's been pushed back, and they've overwhelmed the B site. They need to find that plant now. The bomb's still outside of main. It's just going to cross and just go down in time. And look at Masuda's extension. He might overextend, though. Mantu's ready for it, but still, the headshot's gained. And Crimbo is all that remains. Oh, Masuda's had a round. He's had a 3k, and he might even find four. Especially now that Crimbo's been spotted. Swing for oh, it, he yeah. gains it. To aggressive forces, are they ready for the AWP? No, Mansu with two picks. And that confidence shattered with two bullets. Oh, what a return from Big. And we saw what Mansu was only able to do a couple of rounds ago with his double pick out to Electric. This time it's a double pick towards A. Even Rollin caught, tagged, naded down by Tapson. Wow. The B site take from the last round looks shaky. Big's defensive within the first like 45 seconds or so. So confident. How do Crucial and Beamus recover this? Now, individually, they've got to not only open up the bomb site, but then look to extend once the bomb goes down. This this is a tough round. At least BMAS has a full belt of utils, so smoke off the left side and give yourself protection of getting that bomb down. Start the walk around. Push up towards the B main area. Bemis is going to get forced back by the flashbang. He's not going to be allowed in. He's going to be dead to rights. He evades the sprays coming in from the back. Crucial wary of a counter rotation, but they're all coming in from main. Bemis now got to cold himself into the corner. Try win these two fights. It's not going to happen. Bombs dropped. Rounds over. Crucial's got to save. ITB into the disaster right now. It just shows that they, they didn't want to commit to a rush A or anything, but they wanted to show some early map control towards A. They wanted to put some pressure down from that main and back plat and even default angle. Mantu could not have found him. Demus and Rollin with the setup. First smoke sent. Flash goes with it. Process not going to get caught with it on Mantu's part. Ivor Crucial goes down. Everybody goes down. The headshots have lined up on the spray and ITB are left decimated and embarrassed again. Mantu chimes in with two. Big ITB. Just scrambling, rushing, playing fast, trying to throw anything they can at this B bomb site. Try and overwhelm Big with the pace. The flashes aren't connecting towards the CT side though. Bemis has gone down. So has Masuta. Sin known about. Sprays Manica. Rollin can only catch that one individual. Process right behind him can find a trade. And Crucial is forced to respond. There's further flashes. Mantu is blinded. Three on two. Galil running out of ammo. Mantu's orb can also reveal himself. They'll try to get that bomb to the bomb site. But he's going to get caught by Taps. There's a decoy grenade coming out initially. Trying to see if they can paint in a mistake from ITB. They haven't bought it though. Instead, they're going to buy into the aggression. Masuta caught off, spammed down by Mantu and Tabson. Taken out of the headshot as Process will now look for the sideline attack from side alley. All four players of ITB are backed up here behind this smoke. Some at elevated angles, some trying to push forward. All of which scatter as the bomb should go down from here. And Mantu thinking about that reposition now that the bomb's been planted. Process and Sin out here towards Gap will at least clear one of them. Four on four situation. Can they turn it into an advantage? Well, certainly they can do for big. Crucial going down to the headshot of Process. He's in for a double, and that's what he gets. Rollin falling. Body gets two of his own. Look for the triple. Bemis gets it from Mantu. And now they've got to get on this defuse. Ten seconds to the stick. Crimbo not facing. They face out a ramp, and he just knows he engages. Defuse kit. No, still not available. Swinging back for the 10 seconds on Bemis. He holds his nerve. They try and body block it. Bemis, oh, just gets off the bomb to get the casualty. Had no choice in the matter. Big claim the pistol. And I think anyone looking at the big side will always... Got the ramp position itself, 35 seconds. Can they get anything here? And Tabson's clearing out the majority of the tarps and see nothing at all. Left smoke going down, out towards Crane. It's a one-for-one -one trade. That's a decent work there for Masuta. Crucial backed up, Bemis on site. Crucial 
Evading the sprays, the wallbang attempts of Crimbo. Next up, swing from Bemis on that for Mars, removes the only rifle in play. The XM trying to crack open some of the smokes. Look for the likes of Sin. Does catch the man with crucial finding a pick on the SMG. 10 seconds. They are on a bomb site, but the XM's still fragging here. Bomb plant could well be denied by body. Process certainly is, and there it is. Charge their way in against ITB. They've caught that first kill on body, and they back the hell off all the way back past the bridge here. No other part of map control. And there was something that was being discussed when the new spokes were revealed in the trailers. Like, what weapons could you utilize to just clear up and, and, mm. and, and make gaps to work? You saw how much they were, they were taking away with every single buckshot there on Body's part. ITB. They were going for the kills in that exchange. Well, look at the gamble stack that's starting to come through. BMAS is leaving the B post to go out towards mid. They haven't seen much towards ramp, so it actually could start to shift back over. The issue is, it's already a mid walk right now. While he's in, Masuya sees what's going on. AUG at Beamus looking to try and back up to a slightly more safe position. There's another rifle around that corner, which tries to engage. Raleigh has nothing for it. Masuta only one pick. He's dropped by the pistol. And Crucial's just left to lick his wounds. And that that's almost a round where it feels like a statement is being said in the server of, yeah, you might have won a round with an XM of a gamble stack towards A, but come on the rifle rounds and we'll show you what it really tastes like. You just feel that opening pick comes in so quick. Rifles can only come out from four individuals now. One pistol in for Masuta. Crucial trying to find an angle of attack down here past the tops. He's going to get tinked up and taken back by Mantu. Into the breach. Not the start you're looking for once again. And for Big, this has been an excellent start for their map pick. 3-1. They close down the rifle round. You're looking at 4-1, then 5-1. Bemas. I think he was certainly quiet out on map number one. Could this be his chance to multi-frag? No. Taps in. Cuts down the kill in an instant. Process finds Rylan as well on the rotation. And big, when they find that these defaults might take forever, they might be slow in certain <laughs> yeah. capacities, but when they get on the bomb site, they look so lights out, it feels like such a quick execution. Well, it's because they're so well drilled, and that's something you're always going to expect from big on execs, is the crossfires, the timings, the spacing, who's throwing the util, the pathing, all things like that. That's where you get perfected out in tier one, and that's where the time can, can really come down. I mean, you've got to remember that even Sin and Mantu kind of got brought back into the team what six months ago like this five-man lineup of big has been going for a while mm. but you are right it, it is it is painfully slow at times but it's a style that big have, have always brought and it's a style that's been quite successful for them uh, in the re side masuta body spraying blinded still caught off on Tapson's casualty straight through the smoke ring where Masuta is. Body's been tagged so heavily, dead to the hands of Crimbo. Crucial got one of those M4s back. The second one's been lost, I think, permanently at this stage. Right there in the uh, top scaffolding. Second CT too far back. Yeah, process has just been lethal with some of these opening kills. We saw it on map one and we're seeing it here on map number two. Had an excellent 3k with the M4 to try and close down Anubis. And more util on the bomb site. Crucial does get away with one, but Tabson's just taking so much map control. Process actually dropping to that M4 too. Tabson leans into the back. Crucial. Desperate to find an angle of attack. The flashes will just send him packing, running away towards the CT spawn. Tabson heard it, but he won't get too overzealous. We'll just put that spoke out elevator. Keep the AK held. CT, similar story with that M4. They don't have a choice. I think Process has had a, an interesting career. I mean, the fact that he started on Big Academy's roster, you thought that, okay, that would have been the opportunity at some point to get a taste of what it's like to play on the main team. And in fact, he goes over to alternate attacks. He then goes on to the first ever iteration of Fnatic Rising and then finds himself back on Big Academy and, and obviously getting the call up. I think any time you, you find yourself in a in a position like tomorrow evening's matchup, the question is who's going to face him. It could well be big at this juncture. Leading by four rounds into the breach. Still trying to suppress them. They've got some decent HEs to try and do so. Chunking away those HP bars. Now they've got to capitalize upon the kills. A body trying to see if he can pass some util back up here towards Crucial. No luck. All five committing up here at Ramp. Process the first man in. AK sprays out the side alley position. We'll just check it. Sin's going to call that there's nobody here. 
Crucial holds his angle. Masuta still gets overwhelmed. Crucial with that one frag. And Cindy is on the site itself. will try keeping him from the plant. As they do get forced back. So much damage done towards Sin. Four on four scenario here. Plant should be secured soon. Tapson up top. Catches Rylan. Just look at the way they even tap the bomb there. They just draw Rylan out into the open. And it, it's moments like that from Big where they've tapped the bomb, what, two, three times? Finally, Tabson's traded. Crucial, three HP. Well out of this position. Definitely not going for a retake. Beam thing's better of it as well. Hold on to that M4. It's concerning the number of times ITB have no choice but to save. It means number six will go the way of big, and they are yet to truly be tested in this map. I think for Into the Breach, they're, they're very nervous on this CT side with the way that they're playing. I think that they, they have to be so much more proactive. They've yeah. got to make info plays in the mid round. They're playing so deep in the bomb sites. I mean, every single time. Big. The Mac of that noise just going to be happy to sit pretty and wait. The CTs to continue coming to them. They put those smokes out. Mantu watching above said smoke. Look onto that plat position. Does fall back to join his teammates. Rotations seem to commit that bomb towards the B site. Now Sin has got himself a Lurks mode to try and work off the back of it. Stunning entry there onto B mass, onto the double stack. And it's forcing a bit of an over rotation, but Big don't have to commit off of this. And they're bringing that bomb back towards Bridge. Got all the options and all the time to play with. And this is where ITB need to make an info play. Like someone yeah. to walk forward B stairs, someone to walk forward out towards mid, because just no one knows what's happening right now. Even then, they are trying to sell them on a fake. They're giving away information, but it's all just uh, red herrings towards Masuta. 20 seconds, and the bomb's going to try and commit towards B. Oh, they bought it at last. Crucial still hanging around, though. They haven't seen any T-side players out there over at the stairs. And now they see what's really going on. Sin gets dropped, but only that one. Process catches the responsive. Masuta in with two. And third kills for that FAMAS at long last. ITB can score their second. Well, I think you need to watch out of this and all. Nade set, AWP is watching, these smokes will get cleared up in some capacity, revealing vision towards Mantu as much as it does crucial, Mantle capitalizes on the kill, Grimbo's caught Masuta elsewhere, it's a 5 on 3 for Big, finally Roland finds a response. Now Grimbo gets dealt with out from the mid control, but there's just so much leverage, Ramp's been taken, B stairs has been taken, there's still just so much time on the clock, a full belt of util for Mantu. He might just scope in and look for a headshot or default peak and just keep working that right-hand side. Sixty seconds left. Yeah, it's just a gamble sack right now for ITB. Heard a smoke coming out towards the ramp position. They're seeing nothing in mid and nothing on the B site. Being down by a man, though, if they can see that bomb plant. Make things rather difficult here for the CT forces. They are trying to get back to elevate and see if Body can get anything back at the sniper's nest. 30 seconds for the plant. A bigger expecting an overface, and they're probably going to get it out towards headshot of the sniper's nest. Process gets Body. Nades back to try to get Tabs, and he's tagged, but he's alive. Still able to get the bomb plant for it. Rollin. Looking for exits at this stage. ITB are forced to save once again. Uh, what more do you do? And there isn't much. I think, again, for Into the Breach, it's, it's just one of those cases where you're struggling against the pace. You're struggling against the picks. The rounds are just, they're not coming. And um, even if you were just slightly whether you go more aggressive you go more passively i think the end result is constantly going to be the struggle against the slow passive style into the i feel like such unrealistic goals when mantu keeps hitting opening awp kills bemis down out towards the stairs sins ak can swing up catch rollin next and once again big just bust open the b site with no mercy shown and it's another one of these rounds where you, you just can't go for it like you don't want to save but you can't go for a 3v5 like this. You have to stabilize, bring that buy back into the next round. Two incredibly quick picks. And it and it's a shame that we're getting this kind of performance from Into the Breach because I feel like it's taking away 
how exciting their run has been in this yeah. event with all of the victories they've been able to take against Mouse NXT, against Zero Zero Nation, against alternate attacks, against Anonymo, all back to back. I mean, I looked at that alternate attacks team and I thought they could have been a dark horse to go on deep, but into the breach were the ones that were able to beat them 2-0. And the revelations of this team on the body certainly have been impressive. Bo, crucial. So slow out towards mid. Crimbo, so ready for crucial. <laughs> Accurate as ever. Decimating as ever. ITV. Just no chance left here. I mean... Uh, the, the, the moralization at this stage with how mm. easily they've lost those fights. Like, two people peaked in mid, one of which was an AWP that had his crosshair almost perfectly trained. A little bit far to the left. Didn't even get a chance to adjust to even allow that mid control to go the way of ITV. It's a 5v3 with not a lick of damage done to big. You can even see that that slight angle uh, on the corner has actually got a bit of elevation behind it. It's standing on what I think is a paint can or something out over there. The process. Getting a pick towards A. I don't even think the save's going to be successful. There's just so much map control to disallow body. Process is flanking and all. Bemis. At least been seen and heard. Body dead. Second and big certainly have found a lot of success on it. I mean, it's incredible. I thought that Ancient was going to be a better pick than Vertigo was for Big. Evidently not. To bounce back as well against that result and Freezy and everything looks like it's uh, encouraging to see how Big can do now. Locks facing in against the USPs. They have caught Crimbo tagged up out of the stairs angle. Sin in the corner. Mantu sees them coming. Tabs are looking to engage. Gets that one casualty. Sin swings in as Process also dropped. Mantu with a swing back. Ketz B misses head. Reducing it to a two on two is Rollin as he swings back towards the stairs. But they know where that problem is and they're going to try face him together if possible. Mantu running out of ammo. Forced on the reload. Crucial going to try and drive him back. And meanwhile, Rollin's closing in the pincers. Trying to find the sandwich for ITB. On towards mid position, USP, Tats caught off guard. Sin still taps up, one more headshot, 2k to his name. 1v1 against Rodden. He's going to look up the top's position. Head of the smoke, he'll keep his eyes on for Process, who still wins that fight with a FAMAS and everything. Getting back in towards the tops. A spam there from Masuda eventually does catch his head. So him and Tabson now starting to work off of this ramp control. Now, Crucial down to 33 could make it awkward in this ramp take. Tabson. Just watching and waiting. AUG behind the railing. Seeing the smoke clear, couldn't line up a headshot. Sin could line up multiple though. Tamantu is falling to Masuta. It's going to be a three versus two with Sin's trade. Bomb site can get gained. The plant can be secured. Both players are coming in for the backstab here. The plant going down from BMAS now. Only one's given up the info towards ramp. And it looks like it's just a save call is coming through from Big. Unfortunately, even after the opening exchange towards ramp, they lose a little bit too much to Tabson with the ore getting nothing. And then even his teammate, Amantu, falling without a returning pick. Once again, all on Masuta. Three kills to his name, the trades. Appropriate and stellar. The 3k that keeps ITB alive in this map up and in this series and in this tournament by extension. Big. Still bearing down upon them. Still only a couple of rounds away from the victory. What's he down to? An MP9 as well. One of those rifles taken out clean by body already. Positivity from ITB. Will it continue down that route though? Rimbo going to get flashed in to engage. Losing his life. Taking a lot of HP with him. The Nader taps and actually can finish off body. So that's uh, something back for the big side. Will it turn into the steel? And Tabson trying to get out to a better weapon. Get that MP9 out there towards White. Rowling getting close towards that spam. Tabson trying to get on top of the double stack onto Crucial. Damage has been done, but not enough for the kill. Spray was a little bit manic. 
The old process might go for the same angle here. I mean, they have got a gamble stack in from big, and ITB are playing right into it. There was three players there. Now there's only two. Rollin does go down. Masuta responds. AWP, Molotov, Doff almost lined up the collat. It was a little bit late to the marker, and ITB will find five. Process going to try and do the exact same thing, followed up by spam, but no connection just yet. In the area sent. Crucial lands tabs in process alone now on ramp. Two players rotating to the bomb site. Molly's will try and clear up that uh, mid ramp position. Man, two can catch one on Suter. Secondary pick will be lovely. HP sacrifice from Process to get the man advantage back for Big here. And he's dipping in for more. He's so aggressive back here ahead of the smoke. Beamus has no idea. Nivin is crucial. He can get caught off guard. He finally trades. But Man, two responds all the same. And it's the Orpin a one on three for the T side to try and keep ITB alive. He's missed his first shot. Info call for the CT forces. They know where he is. Gets that one frag. Now, where does he go? Now back over towards the AK, smoke at hand, 30 seconds on the clock. And with the bomb being up there towards mini ramp, he's going to have to pretty much collect it and move towards A. Both players out at tops about to peek into the man, poking their way into the back lines. Counting utilities there for the CT forces and process is close with an MP9. Masuta will drop to him. Crucials orb can trade back. Process looking to engage does not quite go past the AK. The third man there towards side is going to get caught. Crimbo sends body part tumbling down to his demise. And now the AK directly on site. ITB might, might not be aware of how close this individual is as the smoke will start to clear. A re-smoke comes in from Crucial. Crimbo is trying to work around the default boxes as much as he can. Now Sin's got a flash. So as soon as he gets a pick, they can actually try and flash over the top of it. Crimbo's backed off a little bit. Another smoke will come in, this time from the CT side. Crimbo's watching. Holding out face for Raal, and the flashbang captures him fully. And now Sin, one on three, M4, to bail out ITB, to save them here in the CCT Online Finals. Plant tapped once, Sin's so wary of a backstab, he's hoping there's going to be a kill to find over here. A piece of utility that you can also gain. Get out of here. You start thinking to yourself, how many more rifle rounds are we realistically going to see? Probably just two. Big. Want to try and close this down. Now, we've seen the, the death of the 12-8 scoreline quite a bit over the course of the last week or so. A lot of teams, 12-8 up, struggling to, to close. Being pushed into overtime, into the breach. They have put in a very good performance out here on T-side. They've shown us a lot of... A suit up. He's looking to swing at the forward contact body. Tagged up to 65 HP. Tabson leans in. Takes some damage to the uh, sandbags. Molotov. Kind of smokes ahead of the ramp control. Going to try and suppress. It's actually towards the alley position. Stop any progression here again from the T-side line. They're about to make their move in, though. Crucial finds tabs in process. Can mow down two individuals. Finally trade by Masuta, but there's such low HP on the T-side. Oh, good shot there from Mantu. Orp v Orp duel goes the way of the CTs. Masuta desperate for an entry up close. Smoke on. Mantu's caught another. Masuta unreal.